Hello everyone, welcome to OLW, myself Saptagiri. So, uh, the continuation from the previous class, today we are going to know about the central nervous system. Already we know that, what is organ and what is organ system. So, two or three parts are combined together and work together for a specific function and that specific function is called as the organ system. So, today we are going to know about the one of the important and main functions of the human body that is our central nervous system so here in central nervous system so first of all we discussed about the what is central nervous system and what are the parts involving in the central nervous system and what are nerves and how many types of nerves are there and what is brain what are the functions of brain and what are the parts involving in the brain and what are the, what are the functions of the parts and we are in our next few minutes we are going to discuss about all these points so coming to the topic the first one is the nervous system okay so nervous system now you are hearing all my voice and now you are observing all my actions these all actions are done by our nerves so simply now you understand so as like how the central processing unit cpu is helpful to the computer as like as that our brain and nerves are simply just like a cpu central processing unit so coming to here coming to in our in our topic the cpu is our brain okay so the first one the brain so the brain is covered by a hard shell the shell is named as the skull so inside the skull the most powerful thing in human body the most powerful organ in uh, in the human body is our brain okay so here the nervous system the nervous system consisting of the nerves the those are the nerves the central nervous system is two types that is the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system so in our in our central nervous system so the central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord so what are the parts involving in the central nervous system so simply the two are the parts are involving in the nervous system uh, that is the central nervous system those are the brain and spinal cord okay coming to the brain okay the brain weight of an average human being is 13 50 grams means 1350 grams approximately 1350 grams of a, a 1350 grams is the brain weight of a human being okay so now we are deeply discussing about the brain okay have you ever discussed have you ever discussed or have you ever observed what is brain and what is the functions of brain why and what is the functions of the brain and what are the uses of brain now you are listening my words now you are observing my actions and when you're smiling or when you're observing someone or something when you want to read or you want to observe something it all the actions are done by the brain okay done by the brain that is the main function and main uses of the brain is simply it controls all the human body and simply it sends the message to the human organs through the to the nerves and again absorbs the messages or the reflections which are sent by the different kind of body organs to the brain through nerves this is the main function of the brain okay so the main function of the brain is simply it controls the functions and actions of the brain okay but before going to discuss about the deep discuss about the what are the parts involving in the brain before going to that uh, i want to say one thing to you so here actions are two types so actions are two types what are the actions here yes, simply the actions are voluntary actions and involuntary action okay so the voluntary actions means the actions which are under control of your brain are, are called as the voluntary action so what are voluntary actions simply the actions which are controlled by our brain is called as the voluntary actions and the next one 
involuntary actions so okay the involuntary actions means the actions which are simply not in our control or not in our control of our mind or brain is called as the involuntary actions simply the examples of the voluntary actions are movement of hands and just smile or facial expressions or movement of a body those are all called those are all the examples of the voluntary actions and coming to the involuntary actions simply what does it mean by involuntary actions involuntary actions are the actions which are not in our control are called as the involuntary actions for example is it possible to stop your heartbeat come on is it possible to stop your heartbeat no it's not possible so simply the actions which are not under our control or which are not under control of the our brain are called as the involuntary actions okay now coming to the simply the parts of a nervous system so the parts of in the parts of nervous system there are two parts of, there are, the nervous system is divided into two types that is central nervous system and second is the peripheral nervous system okay the central nervous system the central nervous system consisting of a uh, two parts that is brain and spinal cord okay so now we are going to discuss about the brain so the brain is the only one organ simply which control all the actions of a human body that is respiration excretion circulation and digestion these all are the actions now you are thinking about me right now so now you are uh, listening all my words and you are simply uh, writing some points of uh, my, uh, something from my video and you are preparing your notes uh, it's exam time huh? might be most of the people are trying to find the best and simplest way of the answers from the different kind of questions so these all actions are the controlled by the brain okay so first of all brain is present inside a skeletal box that hard case or hard box is called as human skull okay the skull, the brain is covered by the skull and that skull is very very hard and uh, like simply the hardest uh, structure why because brain is very sensitive na it looks like a spongy structure that's why it is present inside our skull skull okay so the brain is the brain is looks like this okay so the main three part the brain is consisting of mainly three parts that is the first one is the cerebrum and second one is the cerebellum and third one is the medulla oblongata so there are three main parts are there one is the cerebrum and second is the cerebellum and third one is the medulla oblongata and the brain simply the the combination or the central nervous system is consisting of the brain and spinal cord okay so coming to the cerebrum so cerebrum is consisting of simply the largest part in the human brain is cerebrum so what is the largest part in the human brain yeah it's simple it's simply cerebrum okay the cerebrum is the largest the cerebrum is the largest part of the human brain and the second largest part is the cerebellum and third one is the medulla oblongata okay so simply the, cere the cerebrum come into cerebrum what are the functions of the cerebrum simply the cerebrum is helpful us to simply speech and receiving messages and problem solving skills these are the main main functions of the cerebrum and here is the emotional emotional uh, senses and memory so the why uh, why because the cerebrum is the largest part of a human brain na that's why uh, memory most of the memory is simply include in this part cerebrum and along with this all actions simply it controls the emotional movements and it, it simply 
when a person is too emotional or simply too attached to the someone or someone else so those memories are simply uh, memorized in the cerebrum that's why it is the largest part so most of the in our cerebrum most of the memories and most of the data is simply present in the cerebrum okay the second one is the cerebellum okay the cerebellum cerebellum is the second largest part the cerebrum is the first largest part na and the second largest part is the cerebellum okay cerebellum is the second largest part in the human brain did you got my point and so the functions of the cerebellum is simply movement of a human body and balancing of the human body so coming to the balance so most of the people are like uh, disabled people are the name disabled they are not able to handle or they don't have a capacity to handle their body movements are they sometimes they lost the balance and sometimes they miss the balance so why they miss the balance means in that time only the cerebellum isn't work properly in that time we miss that balance and it fell down and some injuries are happened okay and the third main function is language okay the language is the simply most of the people who are learn more languages more languages so simply we have we have the capacity to uh, did you know how many languages is uh, able to speak by a normal human individual you know if you know just comment here okay and the language so language also uh, the, it is the one of the important one to communicate now so how you are listening my words uh, have you any are you facing any problems in learning of a new language so wait i have a small tip for you uh, at the end of the session i'll reveal that tip at the same time so language language is the only key to communicate with the opposite person so in that time only uh, those languages are simply feed and memorized in your brain uh, brain the brain is having the uh, and second largest part that is our cerebellum okay at the third one coming to third one that is the medulla oblongata simply the medulla oblongata is the third human part third human body uh, sorry third human brain parts and that medulla oblongata is regulating the cardiovascular system simply the movements of our heart and simply that is the the sound is there na that is lub and uh, simply contraction and relaxation of our heart that heart functions are simply controlled by the medulla oblongata and at the same time respiration and sensory tracts these all are the functions of the medulla oblongata so have you ever think how our brain works and how it sends the messages to the human body and when we are touch the simply when we are touch the heat or any other some uh, shocks are happen to us simply immediately we can take our hand back side so those all actions are called as the sensory actions and these all sensory actions are simply controlled by your brain okay so here the main function of the human brain is simply it sends the messages to the human body organs what are the functions of the human body human brain means simply it sends the messages to the human body organs so the organs are different type of organs are present and combined together to form a human body na so all this body works are done uh, done by the brain okay so the messages which are sent by your brain to different kind of body organs are done by the nerves okay these are the nerves simply these sends the messages from the brain to different kind of body organs and simply 
it takes back those uh, messages and their replies to the brain so these all actions are done by the nerves that's why nerves are the simply they are called as messengers okay the nerves are simply they are called as messengers and the next one the brain is simply connected to the spinal cord okay spinal cord spinal cord is the com spinal cord is also one of the what is the spinal cord simply spinal cord is one of the central nervous system so the brain and spinal cord are combined together to form central nervous system okay so the brain is simply sending the message and absorbing the uh, absorbing say in the message from the different kind of the body organs these all actions are controlled by the our human brain this is all about the human brain and thanks for watching